the Guardian Project podcast. My name is Fabiola Maurice, and I'm with Vladimir Cortez and Marta Tudon from Article 19 Mexico, because we're going to talk about Circulo, an app that was developed to help Mexican journalists to mitigate um, digital and physical risks they face. Marta, Vlad, thank you for being with me today. Can we start with a brief introduction of your role in Article 19 and how you got involved in this project? Uh, hi, thank you very much for the invitation uh, to this podcast. I'm Vladimir Cortez. I'm the Digital Rights Program Officer in, uh, in Article 19, the office in Mexico and uh, Central America. Um, the way I get involved uh, with, this, with this project, uh, firstly, it, uh, it was like uh, uh, particip with, with participating uh, with uh, women journalists and uh, getting like, connected to, to them, to the work that they are doing, to start like, recognizing uh, their needs. <clears throat> and also uh, how, uh, from the uh, technical side and uh, like <clears throat> creating this link between uh, uh, these two elements and, uh, and how it relates to uh, tech-related violence against women and uh, freedom of expression. Hi Fabiola, thanks so much for the invitation. My name is Marta Tudon and I'm the Digital Rights Coordinator for Article 19 Office for Mexico and Central America. And my role in this project has mainly been the coordination of uh, spaces in which women journalists and women human rights defenders could speak about the troubles they face when they go to work, main, basically, and, and how these problems translate in a way that, that it doesn't enable them to fulfill the, their, their role as as journalists or human rights defenders, and um, how these needs and, and, and preoccupations could translate in a practical solution via Circulo. All right, I would like to add that this is a project in which many organizations participated. Uh, the Article 19 office was in charge of coordinating the effort and getting the funding. And then we had Guardian Project as the developers, OK Thanks as the designers, and we have to let you know that Circle was based on Circle of Six, an app designed by Tech for Good in the US for college students to mitigate sexual violence in college campuses. In order to adapt the app to the Mexican journalist context, we decided to conduct a series of in-person workshops. I would like for you guys to tell us why were those important and how does that affect the project? Uh, well, we believe that this was uh, very important in terms of like uh, building something that it is not uh, in, in one direction, but it has like the inputs and the needs, uh, the needs and the uh, what journalists are like uh, facing in their in their in their states in in the work that they are uh, doing. Uh, making clear the differences that might be uh, in terms of uh, a journalist who is working in a northern state like uh, Coahuila uh, with a journalist that it's in, in Veracruz. So it was like basically a, a deep reflection on uh, what is to be a journalist, a woman journalist in, in Mexico and uh, how this can, can be like uh, gathered as an, as an input to really be reflected in, this, uh, in the Circulo app. Marta, do you want to add something to this? Yes, um, I would like to say that Circulo is based on Circle of Six that responds to certain circumstances in the United States, right? So it was an app that was developed as a panic button in which the policeman could come if, if a woman was in danger. And since we wanted to adapt this application in Mexico, we know that here, um, where journalism is a, is a profession that faces real risks and that women are, are facing always like the machismo culture and it's really like a double hazard for them. We knew that we needed to adapt this app for it to make sense in our context. We didn't want to assume as, as Article 19 or, or you guys in, in the Guardian Project that we knew what women needed, but we wanted to ask them 
please tell us about your your life experience and which are the main problems and your main concerns regarding your own security and how do you believe that an app could help in that regard all right it's very important to mention that from these workshops we got a series of volunteers that work hand to hand with us during the two years process of the development of this app and they were willing to provide uh, feedback from for new features and help us shape the decisions we made now let's talk about how the app works and what makes circulo different from other safety apps available in mexico so when we did the research about the safety apps that journalists had access in mexico we realized many things but uh, mainly that most of them were made from unknown sources that they didn't disclose where was the information store or what kind of information they were sharing with third partners so circular is different because we only stored username and password you don't need to provide your real name your phone number your email or you don't need to provide access to your phone book to register other people you just uh, use the usernames too in this way when you create a circle only you know who are the people in your circle and that allows them to stay anonymous um, Marta can you add a little bit more about this we talked about this before and how staying anonymous was important for the journalists Yes, of course. Um, so in the several meetings we have we had with women journalists, they spoke about their experiences in, for example, like go meet, uh, uh, I don't know, like a, a president or, or a local authority in which they could go and the normal challenges they face is that occasionally these authorities uh, confiscate their their devices right so in this case their telephone so their worry was about um, how how could they be sure that their contacts the people in uh, to which they rely to keep safe and and that they keep like constant communication to to be safe um, how can they be sure that they would be protected if the device was confiscated so keeping anonymous their information and also the information of the of the context makes it safer for women if their devices are are you know taken away from them true another important feature is that everything you share in the app stays in your phone it's not stored any anywhere else and is shared with end-to-end -end encryption using matrix technology um Vlad, is there anything you can you want to add uh, yes, there was also uh, part of of, uh, of this uh, concerns and, and and what they uh, journalists were, were, were like uh, uh, saying that uh, it will it will be important to have in this app. It's like uh, sharing also their location. So uh, now Circulo uh, also allows to uh, share location uh, privately uh, uh, with with a greater in encryption. And I think uh, Circle also like uh, really focus on, on privacy and uh, really believes that it, it, it is important uh, if you are thinking in security, also in protecting uh, the personal data and, and the information that it's being uh, shared. Yeah, another important feature is that uh, you share status and locations, but Circulo is not a messaging app. Can you guys tell us why we decide um, not to turn Circulo in a regular messaging app? Yes, so Circulo is different from other apps because it doesn't want to be another, another application in which people can constantly uh, go and speak to another person. You use Circulo when it's necessary and when you know, when you have a certain protocol in which all the people involved, the journalist that is going to, or, or is facing certain risks, um, she relies on a certain group of, of people and they know that if, if they have a notification of Circulo, it's usu usually for something important. It's not an app in which you want to uh, interchange emojis or you want to interchange um, text, but we want it to be like an, an app 
that conveys like um, a sense of uh, of certainty, but not false security. And that's why we we acknowledge that Circulo is not like the answer for for women journalists, but it's like a tool in which they can feel safer only in the way that they use it, uh, applying protocols that they already already have. Right. Uh, there is also the option to create different circles for different situations. So, for example, you can create a circle with your family, a circle with your friends, and a circle with your co-workers. Uh, and now I wanted to talk about something we got asked a lot during the workshops and in the international events we presented the app. People used to ask us, why is Circulo not a panic button? Um, I think it's it's important like to to mention uh, the different experiences that uh, some other organizations uh, had with uh, with panic buttons and uh, this uh, like sometimes feeling that if you push a button then you will be safe uh, rather than thinking that it has to be uh, a part of a like more growth. Uh, protocol in which you assure and, and reduce uh, somehow like uh, this risk. So the idea of, of Circulo, it's uh, more on creating these networks of solidarity, these networks of how to react and how to respond uh, more uh, holistically, more uh, like in, in a general way and not just like relying on, on a panic button. This is something that really enhance the uh, relation between uh, between journalists and thinking that this is this is part also uh, on, on the digital realm on the physical side uh, on different aspects and different ways so it's like uh, how your colleagues how your people how your network responds to to this and not just like thinking that uh, by pressing the the, the, the button uh, uh, authorities or someone else will respond Taking and considering also that Mexico uh, faces a very high uh, uh, like levels of, of impunity, so it's also like uh, uh, difficult to rely on, on authorities. So it's like more how people uh, react and how people uh, like strengthen their uh, together to face uh, any kind of, uh, uh, of risks. Finally, let's talk about what's next, because we're about to start the second phase of this project and there are new things coming and exciting things coming. Um, would you guys like to talk about this? Sure. So we are very excited to announce the second phase of the, of the development of Circulo. As you know, we in the first phase, we centered in the development of an Android version. So in this new phase, we want to create an iOS version because we know that journalists, women and men are relying more in these kind of technologies because they feel safer in the way that they're created. And also, we want to make sure that people can have materials and have information about the, the app itself. So we're going to be creating materials, we're going to develop workshops so people can test the app and also can figure out and, and gather information about the best way to use it. And also we wanted to geographically expand the, the, the adoption of the app, yeah. development of the app. And I don't know if Vlad, you want to talk about it? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, well, yeah, this uh, second phase in which we are like uh, go going to uh, to begin uh, also want to uh, expand and and start working in a very similar context to to Mexico, uh, which uh, human rights defenders and, and journalists like uh, face in terms of uh, of risk, in terms of like a political and economical situation and social situation. Uh, so we are going to start working in uh, Honduras and in Guatemala, in which we are going to uh, start working with, uh, uh, with some partners uh, to uh, start uh, working with, uh, with Circulo and uh, thinking this, as, as I was like mentioning before, with, uh, with this holistic uh, approach in which uh, 
circulo it's it's part of uh, different actions that that uh, journalists and women journalists can can face uh, and can can uh, start like uh, doing to to face those uh, different risks yes a very exciting second phase uh, thank you so much for joining me today I also want to thank the journalists that volunteer to work with us and of course we cannot mention for privacy issues um, but hopefully we'll have another podcast once we finish the second phase and we'll be able to meet again and share it with our community. Thank you guys. Thank you Fabi. Thank you Fabi.